and uh, and like the snakes uh, and the lizards, it's gonna have this um, a beige, beige, uh, yellowish uh, kind of color underneath. Um, I sort of tried to color pick from uh, the snake and then and then uh, change the hue a little bit to fit a bit more to the to the red I have because you know um, the color of of most of the sna snakes I have here is um, green and uh, so so there's a bit more green in in the scales underneath um, on the underside of the snake as well. Uh, but I wanted to to put a little little bit more red into it, so it fitted better together. Because you know, red and uh, green are complementary colors, uh, so completely different colors, and it, and to put th those two up against each other is uh, really hard and tricky. So um, I just put a little bit more uh, red into it. And here kind of um putting in some orange just to uh, flesh out the scales a little bit um but <coughs> you know this is not like di digital painting so uh it's just it's just like a note for myself okay this creature is going to be red with some orange and some beige um and some some purple <laughs> there underneath the eyes um it's not like digital painting, so if you're gonna if you want to learn digital painting, find uh, another tutorial or um, training video teaching you that. <laughs> um, I can do digital painting as well, but um, but this is nothing like digital painting. It's yeah, it's actually really ugly. But it's just to uh, a note for myself which colors I'm gonna give this one when I'm when I get to. Uh, texturing because I am definitely gonna make a sculpt of this one. I have decided now, um, and uh, there'll probably come a video up uh, on this one. I'm not gonna compete in the uh, competition though, on the in the sculpting competition, because that would just be unfair. <laughs> no, no, but I'm I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm just here to inspire you guys out there. Uh, I hope I hope I can exp inspire you just just a little bit. Um, but some of you are probably better than me anyway. I'm just a silly student from Denmark. <laughs> um, but you know, I always I always get inspired by other artists. Uh, doesn't really matter how how advanced they are and and how much they they know and they do but 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 just seeing them work you know uh, kind of in inspires me because every artist works differently and has different methods and is, uh, that's just funny to see and uh, and just it's just a nice thing to watch and get uh, get inspired um and here I'm just I've <coughs> finished uh, coloring it and I've taken it into Photoshop now and just uh, I'm just using some uh, some adjustment layers to sort of uh change uh I I want to I wanted to bump up the the pencil rendering I had a little bit more so that the the coloring doesn't stand that much out and also I toned it down a little bit there so now it looks a little bit better um I uh I desaturated it a little bit. Uh so <coughs> but it looks nothing like it uh like it uh looked when I worked on it here in the video. Um Yeah, it's that compre compression thing. Uh, but here I'm trying to uh, set up the the, the page um, for presenting this design as it is right now. Of course, I wouldn't deliver anything like this to any client. You know, it's way too rough. But and and yet not. You know, it it kind of explains the um, the design really well. But 
um, depending on on which project uh, this is for, I would probably go in and and make it a bit more tight. And those line drawings, uh, just draw them, draw them up and and clean them up a little bit, or a lot maybe. Maybe render those other views out a little bit as well. But for this, it's fine. I have the design. I'm kind of satisfied with it. Um, but don't look at the colors, please. Or you kind of have to. But still. And here I kind of I made the canvas uh, more horizontal because I figured that I had a lot of um, yeah my creature is really horizontal and uh, the way I, I set up the uh, the side and front view so this works a lot better. You can see I, I made the the red uh, um, the red sketches uh, black, but uh, now it's in the red again. Uh, but you can just see how easy it is to change that around. And uh, here I'm kind of uh, using the rough sketch on top of the cleaned up sketch just to uh, make it a bit more uh, like like the other two sketches. Uh, I mean, I know it's it's a sloppy way to do it, um, but just so it it fits a little bit more together. And um, I'm dragging in uh, an image of uh, some parchment uh, to put on top of uh, of uh, the image um, <coughs> and the design, just just to make it a bit little bit more organic and a little bit more fantasy, like um, give it this old uh, kind of look which I like I'm doing this on, on many of my designs uh, just to give it a little bit of teeth and a little bit of texture on top not make it too clean and photoshop like photoshoppy be careful not to use it too much though I should say Make don't make it too dominant and putting in my signature but I decided to go with um, with the <coughs> grayscale one not the colored one and here I'm just uh, making the changes on the, the side view here because uh, after doing the rendering of the head uh, you know a lot of stuff changed actually shape wise I got a lot better idea of how how the uh, how the form and and the shape worked out and and it got a bit it got more sh snake like actually so the snout uh, the nose and then you know the nose and the nostrils um, changed a lot so I'm just making those changes here and also I feel feel like the the side view before looked a little bit too gorillas kind of like uh, that looked a bit monkey monkey like <laughs> so I changed that a little bit be more snake like and pull down the nostrils and so it's done finished finito and the end um so that's it uh thank you very much for watching this video uh i am really you know i've, I've learned a lot uh by doing this already and um I hope you learned something as well, and uh, I hope you got a little bit inspired, maybe to uh, to um, make a sculpt for the competition uh, for Dennis's competition on uh, Polyface.com. Remember to subscribe for the YouTube channel of uh, Polyface.com, and uh, and check out you know check out uh, 
the other videos and uh, tutorials that Dennis have made and watch out for uh, my next video and uh, yeah see you around Nikki Staroska Vibok Denmark over and out